Hello, in this OpenGL video, we're going to show you quad strips. Quad strips are a series of quads that share edges. Basically, they're adjacent to each other and they share vertexes. They are connected. You can almost think of them like a road. That's essentially what you can do with them. This is how a quad would be drawn. So we've got four vertices like so. This is label on one two, three, and four. Draw a simple quad, sort of like a square. Whereas with a quad strip, it's slightly different. So let me just draw some more vertices down here. We would have one vertex, another vertex, another vertex, and a fourth vertex. We'd have our first quad. And like I was saying, the other quads in the series of the quad strip share previous vertices. So without actually name numbering them at the moment, I'm just gonna draw the other vertices for example. So I could put one here and one here. Just by adding two more vertices, I actually get another quad. It shares these existing vertices. And you can do something similar by doing something like that. They obviously would be connected. This is my drawing that they're not connected. So forth and so forth. But if you look here, it was one, two, three, and four. Whereas in a quad strip, it's one, two, or you might start at zero, one, depending on how you're talking about it. But instead of this one but down here being three, it's actually four. Then this one here is three. So it goes in this sort of order. One, two, crosses down, then it goes across. And the same applies with the two coordinates that are below it. So this would be a five. So it crosses down, then it goes across to the six, and then this will be a seven and an eight. So it crosses down and it goes across. So that's how a quad strip works. As a result, you would obviously need to modify an existing quad because that's what we've already got if you haven't checked out our drawing a quad tutorial check that out we draw something very similar to this so we've got a nice little quad right here but what you want to do is swap some of the coordinates over because at the moment we're drawing it top right left bottom left bottom right but what we want to do is swap them over so top left is first and that's it so essentially it will be drawing it like this now top left top right bottom left bottom right essentially what we had right here if we were to actually run this now something interesting will happen it looks like this because we're still using the GL quad drawing mode so if you are dealing with quads you will want this style of vertex ordering so it's one two three four but if you're dealing with a quad strip you'll want something like one two three four five six so what we're going to do is simply update this so it's drawing quad strips to do that put GL underscore quad underscore strip if we run this now, we basically have what we started off with. And now let's add a couple of coordinates, extra coordinates I should say. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one at 320 by 150 by 0, 0.0, which is going to be placed roughly at round about here. Now I'm going to add another one at 350 by 200 by 0, 0.0 in the X, I mean Z axis and this one is placed somewhere around about here so it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 get rid of that we just need to update this so we're drawing all the vertices now run this bad boy and as you can see we have our original quad and now we have another quad that is attached to it. So we have a series of two cool quads. I'm going to add another one. 
same principle applies. We're going to go diagonal downwards or diagonal to the next square, for example, because you might not be going all the way down. You might be going across, up. And for this, we're going to put 400 by 50. So this is really low, by 0, 0.0. Now I'm going to put 450. So this is a little further across by 120, a little further up. And now if we just run this, nothing will happen because I forgot to update the number of vertices that we are drawing. Chain this to 8. And as you can see, we have our original quad, now our second quad, and then our third quad. So the drawing order is like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that was correct. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then it goes to this one as 5. 6, then he goes down again at 7 and 8. So that's quad strips, very simple stuff, but as you can see, we're already getting some sort of road, some sort of pattern, and you could create some really cool designs. We actually recommend that, just check it out. That's the best way to learn. If you want to check out the source code from this video, feel free, there'll be a link in the description to it. If you have any questions, any questions whatsoever about OpenGL, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions dot php. There'll be a link in the description to that as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment and let us know what you think. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.